Russia may soon have a weapon that no one else has, a nuclear-powered cruise missile. On January 29, 2019, Russia conducted a partially successful test of its Buravestnik missile. This has been confirmed to the diplomat by U.S. government sources who have information regarding the matter. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes Russia's one-of-a-kind Buravestnik cruise missile. Let's get started. Viewers may note that Buravestnik was one of the several new weapons first mentioned by Russian President Putin on March 1, 2018 in his State of Nation address before Russian lawmakers and other senior government officials. The Buravestnik was announced along with a host of new weapons which included the Avangard, a hypersonic boost glide reentry vehicle, the Poseidon, an autonomous thermonuclear torpedo, the Sarmat, a new intercontinental range ballistic missile, and the Kinzhal, an air launched ballistic missile. Regarding the Buravestnik, Vladimir Putin noted that in late 2017, Russia successfully launched its latest nuclear powered missile at the Central Training Ground. He added that during its flight, the nuclear powered engine reached its design capacity and provided the necessary propulsion. He additionally claimed that the missile's range was unlimited and that it could maneuver for as long as necessary. The 9M730 Buravestnik is a nuclear-powered and nuclear-tipped cruise missile, so it has a nuclear warhead and is powered by a nuclear engine. It has a NATO reporting name of SSC X9 Skyfall. Nuclear tip cruise missiles have been developed like the American Tomahawk, but there's no cruise missile or any type of missile that uses nuclear energy for propulsion. The most important advantage of nuclear propulsion is that the missile will have virtually unlimited range. Cruise missiles like Tomahawk carry fuel to power their turbofan engine. The fuel is either liquid propellant or solid one and is carried in limited quantities. Since conventional fuel available in limited quantity like this can power the turbofan engine for a fixed time, this basically means these missiles have limited range. For example, Tomahawk has a maximum range of 2,500 kilometers. The Buravestnik, if successfully developed, will not be limited by this aspect. As per reports from Russia, the missile will also have the ability to evade any interceptor-based missile defense system. It's not clear how Russian engineers plan to build this type of capability in the missile. As for the external design, the missile is fairly conventional and characteristic. It has a wing attached to the midsection and stabilizers at the rear. Till now, no country has attempted a missile like this. This mainly comes from the fact that developing a miniature nuclear reactor is very complex, and there are also safety issues since the nuclear engine will be housed in close proximity of the nuclear warhead. Viewers may note that in the late 1950s, America started working on a project like this. A prototype nuclear-powered ramjet engine was planned as part of Project Pluto, but this was never deployed. Developing the Buravestnik has been challenging for Russia. The Buravestnik was first tested at Kapustin Yar in June 2016. There have been 13 tests of the weapon in total. The last one was conducted in February 2018. The longest test flight reportedly lasted for a bit more than two minutes in which the missile was able to cover 22 miles. The latest test is only moderately successful as per U.S. intelligence sources, but the technical data is not available in the public domain. A missile with nuclear propulsion not only means that it will have the unlimited range, it also means that it can hover around a target indefinitely. 
This poses a massive challenge since if the missile carries a nuclear warhead, then even bringing it down could also result in catastrophe. So a nuclear-powered and nuclear-tipped missile like the Buravesnik will have to be neutralized much before it enters the territory of a nation. This is where the Buravesnik will make things very complex for Russia's rivals. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.